Hi everyone and thank you for watching today's video. Today I wanted to share something with you that's a little bit personal. It's all about overcoming burnout and discouragement and all of those negative feelings that really seem to plague musicians. So I'm hoping this video can benefit your life in a big way. My method begins with documenting everything that you do every single day, even if it's something trivial like sweeping the kitchen floor. You know what? You made your surroundings a better place, and that's important. Not only do I write down those things, but I always write down a highlight. What was the best part of that day? What was the most special thing that happened or something that I've done that I've been putting off for a long time or a compliment from someone? Something like that. But every single day has a highlight. You just have to look for it and you, you want to write it down. A month goes by and guess what? You have 30 or 31 highlights for that month. And what you want to do is go back and extract all of those little highlights out of each of those days and write it down. Make a list. And so at the end of every single month, I get to look at this collection of awesome things that happened. I can go through and first of all, you feel proud of yourself. You feel proud of what's happened and what you've done. So it builds your self-esteem or whatever word you want to use. Um, and then two, it makes you grateful. It makes you grateful to the people who've helped you accomplish those things. It's so important as human beings to remind ourselves to, to focus on the positive, not the negative, because our, our normal natural uh, tendencies are to focus only on, on the negative and not on the positive or to give more weight to the things that go wrong than give giving weight to the things that go right. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you bring those great things into the next month. I always plan out just a month at a time. And what I do is I have a piece of paper for my next month's to-do list, but it's a rough draft. And then I have another piece of paper next month's to-do list, but that's the final draft. So everything that I can possibly think of that needs to be done goes on the rough draft. So I just get it all out there. Car inspection, change the air filter, um, you know, buy my brother's birthday present, something like that. And all of the items that are absolutely necessary for you to survive and do well on this planet, those are automatically pushed into the final draft. So those, no question. But all of the other things that are more optional, you have to weed out. So going back to the highlight list, what you do, is you put them and you arrange them into a hierarchy. So it's really gonna show you your priorities, what they are. And I do it simply, I just put a little asterisk by the things that are really important to me. And they're all good things, but you really wanna mark down what's the most important. And maybe you wanna go a little bit more into detail and uh, put like a 10, rank them. So 10, 10 out of 10, three out of 10, based off of that priority structure that you now have in place, you look and compare it to the to-do list that you have for the next month. I have do this cover song for next month, but here on previous month's priority list, I see, ooh, wait, that only got a three out of 10. So maybe that's not gonna go at the top of my list. So you start structuring next month according to, to last month, what was most important to you. And then you take maybe the top, Mm, for me, probably maybe the top 15, top 15 items, and I go through and I schedule in my calendar. I write it down. It, they, they get a whole day. Like, I must finish this project. And then all of the things at the bottom of the list, I don't even give days to them. They just kind of get scribbled on the side of the calendar. Basically, anything that goes on my calendar, it is cemented. If it goes on the calendar, it will get done. But the things that kind of make it to the side, it's like, well, you know, if they get done, that's really good, but it's not absolutely necessary. And I'll be okay with myself if it doesn't happen. Going back to the very first step, you get to see all of the things that you've accomplished and that really builds you up. You encourage yourself by looking at your highlight list. It makes you really, really grateful. Um, and you start noticing the positive in life. And then it helps you to, uh, to refine your priorities, to be honest with yourself, to really come to terms with what is meaningful to you and what is not meaningful. And then it helps you to plan for the future using the information that you just 
discovered over the course of time. Of course, it's always changing and reshaping itself, but it's always chipping away and chiseling away at who you really are. It's getting rid of these unnecessary things. And again, the unnecessary things could be really good, but it's not best. It's not the best thing that you could be doing with your time. I guess this was a little time management speech really, but I think being master of your time and drawing realistic boundaries for yourself in terms of what you can do and what is just doesn't work uh, is so important. Like you gotta know, okay, maybe I can't survive on four hours of sleep. It's affecting my health. Um, maybe I'm not spending enough time with my family. It's really affecting my relationships. I think once you get everything in balance and you are, you're not afraid to tell yourself the truth, once everything comes together and it's just going to get better and better over the years, I think it gives you this sort of peace knowing that, you know, you'll never fully know yourself, but at least you're getting closer. It has really been making a difference for me. So I hope that it does the same for you. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for my next video and I hope you have a wonderful day.